This video is brought to you by Patreon show sponsor, CT Sounds. You can see everything they have to offer at ctsounds.com. It's your boy Hi-Fi Vega, back again. This time, we're gonna dyno the audio control ACM 1.300. So uh, let's kinda look at the box and see what we got going on here. Speaker and line level input, uh, GTO signal sensing, two ohm stable, compact design crossover, See here, we're rated 175 watts at 4 ohms, 300 watts at 2 ohms, 130 amp fuse, weighs 1.3 pounds, 9.4 inches by 3 inches by 1.75 inches. Okay, so we have the amp itself and it is tiny. I mean, it is smaller than my hand. Okay, we've got our input plugs. I'm assuming this is for the RCAs. We'll have to take off this cover to see. This is the speaker level. And then, obviously, the power and remote and ground. I think the only thing that comes in the box is the manual besides that and the packing. Let's uh let's take this cover off and see what we have here. I like these little covers for the times when you're gonna stack multiples of these amps or even just one, it just makes it clean. The only problem is I imagine people are gonna lose these things. Just like end caps for old school amps. Design in the Pacific Northwest USA 12 volt remote power ground We have the signal sensing right here, which is cool. I guess you don't need to uh, Hook up the remote with that. I actually have to look that up because I'm not all that familiar the speaker level inputs Lot low level and then we have the AccuBase Which is cool for factory systems that, that taper the base off. We got the crossover 80 or 120 our gain then a little clip light which is awesome and then the subwoofer output pretty cool you know i don't see a warranty sticker anywhere on this thing so uh let's open this up and see what it looks like on the inside I kind of suspected this whenever I went to open this up, but screws right here, they hold the board in place on there. And this is almost like a uh, one piece design. There's really no way to slide it out. This is one piece here, and this is one piece here. So I would have to take this entire front piece off to, uh, to get at it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I want to do that. As far as the terminals go, I did check it and my one aught to four gauge adapter does fit in there easily. And then also just the regular four aught cable strip back will fit in there. This one's a little frayed, so I'm gonna be able to get it in there just perfect. Yeah, fits in there easily. As far as the speaker goes, the biggest I could fit in here without having to do a whole bunch of uh, stripping back was 14 gauge, but I think maybe you could get 12 gauge in there.
Went ahead and upgraded to a bigger wire here, 14 gauge. If you're enjoying this video and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I'd like to see a little bit more of what High Thought Vega does, you should check out the podcast I do with my good buddy Derek from Wilson Audio. It's called 12 E Talk. We are live every Wednesday at youtube.com slash 12 E Talk at 7 p.m. Central. We're also available as an audio-only podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and many All right, I've got a little bass demo set up here for you. I've got my iPad set up with some uh, Basstronics Bass I Love You. And I've got it hooked up to this 18 right here, which is four ohms, so 175 watts. Let's, uh, let's see what it sounds like. One thing to point out, I have tested the output. And this is clean, no distortion all the way up. So let's, uh, let's play the track and see what it sounds like. All right, how about uh, Big D's favorite here? Let's uh, fill the bass with DJ Magic Mike. Overall, I was very impressed with the performance of this amp, and I'm impressed with the output that it's able to put out in such a small package. The design is very cool as well. I like the little top cover plate, you know, even though once that's considered old school, a lot of those will probably be lost, but, you know, it's just the name of the game. But the amp itself, it, it's fantastic. It's small. It's got a lot of features, the uh, remote turn-on GTO sensing, the AccuBase if you're hooking it up line level in a factory system. So... For the cost, I think this is a fantastic amp. It's compact. It can go just about anywhere. And, you know, I don't hesitate to recommend this to anybody. So I'll leave a link in the description below with an affiliate Amazon affiliate link so you guys can buy it and check it out. But, yeah, I'm very impressed with this amp. All my Patreon supporters, but a special shout-out goes to $6 or more members. Alex McCullum, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Jason Nisley, Rick Quadabom, William Berg, CT Sounds, Byron Shambliss, The Car Audio Guy, and Jason Zimmer. For as little as $2 a month, you can get on the team and get exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube.